With the recent rise of all these other streaming platforms like Kick, Rumble, and Trovo, there's a demand for multi-streaming more than ever. A lot of people want to leave Twitch, but they don't want to just, you know, switch a new platform and start fresh. They want to multi-stream. Well, how can you do that? It's actually fairly easy with this one simple plugin. A lot of people in the past have used Restream or some other services like that. But for that, you have to pay. And if you use the free version, you're only limited to two platforms and 720p streams, which is not good. With this one plugin that I'm going to show you today, you can actually stream on any platform you want, literally any, as many as you want, completely for free. And you can choose whatever quality of the stream you want. So if you want 1080p, 1720p, 1.4K, if you want, you can do that. Let me show you how it works and let's get into it. So first, what you will have to do is go to this link down in the description below. It's the GitHub link for the plugin called OBS Multi RTMP. The current version is 0 .0, uh, 0 0.403. Uh, maybe later it will be the newer version, whatever. All you have to do is scroll down and then download either the installer or the zip file and then you can unzip it yourself. I hope you know how to install plugins. I've showed it in like a million times in other videos. Run the installer. Next, next, next. That's it. So easy install. That's all you have to do. Once you install it, you will get this window right over here in OBS called multi output. So this is where you put all the other streaming platforms and you just restream, right? But keep in mind, when you do restream, you are using your upload speed, right? So like if you're streaming to YouTube and Kick and Twitch, let's say you use 6K bitrate for all of them, you're using six times three, right? So you're not using six upload anymore, you're using 18 uploads. So make sure you have good upload speed so you can actually restream to all these platforms at once. Uh, so if you go right here, all you have to do is just click add new target and it will say whatever name you want. So let's say, for example, Kick. And then you have to add the server and the key. Other things you don't need to change at all. If you don't change anything over here, all these settings will be synced with your current OBS settings. So if you're streaming to Twitch, you can use the same Twitch settings as your kick settings, and then it will not use any PC resources extra. Like it will use the same PC resources. So you it won't use anything extra. The only thing it will use is extra upload. That's it. If you change the settings, then it has to encode two different streams and it will use double your PC resources. So keep that in mind. So if you want to add these uh, servers and keys, all you have to do is go to the streaming platform and then in the settings, you will find those things. Let me show you how it works for kick. So if you want to add it for kick, all you have to do is go to your dashboard and then in the settings, you will see the stream key right here. Obviously, this will be blurred out because I don't want to leak my stream key and my server. But you have to copy this URL. This URL right here goes into the uh, server and then the key goes into right. The, the stream key goes into the key itself. So that's all you have to do. Copy those two things and that's it. Once you click OK, that's it. You can also sync start with OBS right here. So when you click OK right here, when you go live normally, it will also go live on all the platforms at once. So like all, you don't have to go here and click start. You can just like start a stream and it will start it there as well. Uh, you can add YouTube as well if you want. So you go add new target. You do the same thing for YouTube. All the uh, servers and keys are in the settings for all these different platforms. So you can just add as many platforms as you want. Um, all the same settings. That's fine. And then you click start all or you can again start the stream and then it will start it all automatically. When you end the stream, if it does not end it for all the other platforms, make sure to click stop all so it stops everywhere and then stop it in the OBS itself. But I'm, I believe when you stop it in OBS, it also stops it everywhere else as well. So you don't have to worry about that at all. And that's basically it. It's that easy to multi-stream nowadays. You don't have to use all these expensive platforms and tools or whatever. Use one simple OBS plugin and it saves you ton of money and ton of work. You do it once and boom, you can multi-stream on any platform you want without any issues. I hope you guys like this video. If you got this far, I believe you liked it. So make sure to drop the like on it. It would mean the world. If you don't already know, I do stream on Twitch three days a week. Link is down in the description below. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out and have a good one. Bye bye.